Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your tutorial series. This video, we're gonna be talking about passing by reference by going through a common example of swapping inside of a function. By swap, I mean we're basically going to pass in two variables and when it's, the function is done, I want each one to contain the other variable's value. So it's gonna be real fun, but first you need to check out our sponsor, Embarcadero Rad Studio. Rad Studio is the IDE of choice for C++ development. Quickly build native, mobile, and desktop applications from a single C++ code base and deploy to Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. With Rad Studio, user interface design has been made easy with hundreds of pre-built components for cross-platform development. You can easily integrate with popular source control management systems, databases, APIs, and you can make your life easier with numerous third-party extensions. Let Rad Studio do the heavy lifting when it comes to C++ development. Give it a go with a free trial by following the link in the description. So to begin, let's create a function. We'll just call it swap. And here's what it's going to do. It's going to take two parameters. We'll just call one A and one B. Now we're going to go through the logic of swapping these values. And the first instinctive way to do it is actually incorrect, which is where you would assign B to A. And then the other way around, you would assign A to B. But this isn't going to work because when you assign b to a, it's going to basically replace the value of a, and it's no longer going to be available here. So the solution to this is to use a temporary variable. So we can assign a to temp, and now we instead of assigning a to b, we can assign temp to b. So we're basically storing that original value of a in this temporary variable so we can reference it later. So that should be the logic to swap the variables, but it's not complete because we're passing by value. So inside of the function they'll be swapped, but outside they will not be swapped. Here is an output that you can use to illustrate this. In A it has the value 10, and in B has the value 20. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna call swap, pass in A and B. Now when we compile and run, the output is that A contains 20 and B contains 10. So the swap seemed to work, but the thing is if we copy this line here, and paste that inside a main, you'll see that everything is reverted after the swap. So it doesn't persist beyond the swap function. So inside of the swap, A is 20, B is 10, but afterwards A is 10 and B is 20. The reason that is, is because this A is different than this A, and this B is different than this B. So this function is changing this A and this B but the, the original A and B are unaffected. So to fix that, we just need to pass by reference. So to do that, you prefix the variable inside of the function. So the parameter, you prefix it with the and sign, like so. Now when we compile and run, you can see it persists outside of the function. Now, when it comes to passing by reference, you'll often see it where the and sign is attached to the variable, but that's not a requirement. So sometimes it will be like this. That works fine too. Other times it will be attached to 